Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a quick overlay of the deliver and export tab. Um, these are just some of the settings I recommend, especially if you're just starting. I will be making a video later as far as a more detailed version, but as for today, we'll keep this short and simple. So if you like this video, just please hit that like and subscribe. If you have questions, you can leave them down below. I will answer them and I will also try to answer them on the next video as well. So with that, let's jump right in. Show me light, show me better days. I keep on spending, I need to fucking save. Um, you start off first, if you just don't see this, you might be set to media when you first launch, it might be in the edit page or cut tab. Just go down at the very bottom, you will see deliver. When you go to deliver, it should automatically be set to custom export and your screen should look the same. I actually did reset my UI, which is right here. That's reset UI, so your screen should look about the same as mine does, unless you have a larger than 27 inch monitor. Um, inside of your custom exports, you have your file names. You can change different stuff and all that jazz, but I will show you something that's very, very quick and easy to use for those that just want to post, don't care about the technical stuff, it's too much, that's fine. Go over to YouTube where it says 1080p. You can choose Vimeo, it's about the same, but YouTube, this is better, and I'll kind of show you guys why. So for YouTube, everybody in their mom watches YouTube. So this will keep it, you know, about the best settings that's used for every, like everything should be able to read this in this format. So at the very, very top, you have your name. You can name your file, whatever. If you click the browse section, you could choose to highlight and place it in any part of your photos within your computer. Um, I already have mine set to a certain thing, but if you click browse, it will show you. Um, I'll try it really quick, but it pulls up the my folder for those that just want to see. Um, you also have your resolution where you can change it. This should automatically be set to your resolution of your timeline. So if you were editing inside of a 1080p timeline, this is your 1080p. If you were editing inside of 4K, it would be set to 4K. But if you want to customize, you can. Um, down here, you also have your frame rate. So frame rate, it should be locked to whatever it is on your timeline. Um, I don't think it gives you an option for YouTube, at least it's not showing me one right here. Um, for custom settings, you can get more depth into that, but we're not doing that today. We're just showing the YouTube stuff. Uh, down here, video codec, all this other stuff, this is all fine. Don't touch any of it. You leave it the way it is. If you do want to change and you want to make it a quick time video, you can do so. But truthfully, leaving it in MP4, it's the most universal platform or most universal codec uh, that everyone uses. And uh, all this is set the right way. Make sure for audio, if you don't do it right, if it just doesn't work, um, as far as like the, if your layer doesn't look like this, make sure if your sound's coming out terrible, that it is set to bus stereo one. Um, this will be set to, if I go back to the edit page, if I go to mixer, all of my audio, everything that I edited will play out through bus one. So if you're missing some things, make sure it's set to this. Don't have it in timeline track because timeline would only be one through four and you can click in there and scroll through. So I only have, uh, well one through four because I have four tracks. If I had like 50 of them, it would scroll through 50, but leave it on bus. It will record everything in there. All this again, leave the same. You can also go down to here where it says upload directly to YouTube. Now for me, I've signed in and the way to do that is you can actually go to DaVinci Resolve at the very top, just click inside of it, go to preferences and you want to go to internet accounts. So with internet accounts, you can actually choose to sign into them. And as you see, I'm signed into my YouTube. Um, but for any other platform that we do have listed and more may come in the future, once you sign into those, you will be allowed to post through here. And of course there's different tabs for a lot more different options, but we're just showing you the YouTube stuff. So I'm signed in. I can choose to upload directly to them. I can do the title of my video inside of here. I can type in the description. I can't do tags yet, uh, but I can do chapters. Uh, inside of uh, DaVinci, which is set by my markers. I only have one marker right here. If you don't have a marker, you just press M on the keyboard. If you ever want to customize it, just double click the, the, the left uh, click on your mouse button. You could change the name, you could change the notes, keywords, all the stuff you want to add in there and just press done. You can also change the colors and stuff too, but I won't get into that today. Um, but you can select your chapters uh, basically by your markers and you can also choose to upload a thumbnail. So by default, it won't be there, but when you click it, just click this right here and you'll be able to drag and drop a picture in and save it as your thumbnail. Down here, you have the last couple things. You have your privacy, which is set for me right now, is set by default to private. You can also change the public or unlisted. Um, you have the option of actually going to film animation, uh, your music, all of these right here, these options are just based upon the category that you're essentially either teaching or producing. So if you're producing a music video, set to music, it will automatically be in a category through YouTube. If you're doing, for me, it's like film, so I set mine to film and animation. Um, and I'll just press entertainment for for the sake of the video. But you, you can pick and choose whatever you want. So after you do all of that, make sure you hit the render queue. 
Once it's added to render, you will see it right here. As you notice, it has a little YouTube button. So you know for a fact you are using the YouTube settings. That's recommended. And hit render all. And then wherever you select it over here, wherever the location that you chose to save your file is where this will render to. And last thing before I go is make sure you render out the entire timeline. Um, if it's not selected and it does in and out range, let me zoom out. In and out range, if I scroll down right here, it will only produce this. If I do entire timeline, it will do everything that I recorded or everything that I produced. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And of course, I will be making a, a much more detailed video later on. It may come out this week or maybe next week, uh, but it will give you a lot more of a grocery list as far as like all the different settings in there. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.